Black Fires, the one that showed up. Yes, <laughs> they were supposed to be on, but uh, what happened? Well, uh, our singer uh, is a little under the weather today, and he sends his apologies, but you know, uh, the show must so go on, so I'm here. So what would have happened oh, if you had a gig tonight? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Luckily, I would have yeah. been, been like, just 40 minutes of me playing a drum solo. Wow, so you probably would have been really happy. Yeah, if we had this setup, a setup I could have played a drum solo for. Well, entertain you with that. It's kind of set up, but you would have had to break some of your little bits and pieces. So where do the Black Fires um, come from? You're all from different places, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Chegi is from Moscow, and uh, our guitar player Anthony is from Leeds. And we have another guitar player from Costa Rica, a bass player from Uruguay, and me from New Jersey. So, so I don't know how that So happened. watching the World Cup must have been really interesting for you. For every one of the other guys that said me. Yeah. I'm from here. <laughs> Well, it did matter up until yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, are they all still in? Uh, no, no. Yeah, I just don't follow it. They were, they were really following it. They were I'm like, sure. Really because it's not our sport. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But it was becoming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, where's the Black Fires next show? Next show is at Pianos at, uh, in July 10th. Oh, that's, that's nice. Um, yeah, we're mainly taking the month off to uh, work on an EP. Um, and we'll be doing some other shows in August. We'll be playing uh, uh, this Philadelphia festival. It's called Mu uh, Liberty Music Festival. And uh, we're going to play some shows in North Carolina. So we're trying to spread it out a little bit. We play a lot of shows in New York. You know, we don't want to just kind of keep repeating in the same neighborhood. You want to kind of like spread the gospel out to, uh, you know, different places. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to play uh, pianos on July 10th. Um, yeah, we're, like I was, I was just saying, uh, we're trying to branch out and play in different states and stuff. I was looking forward to seeing you guys play tonight. Yeah, well, we really wanted. I thought you were there. They were booked. They, I found out at yeah. 2 o'clock today yeah, that they had been. a little problem. Yes, man. Our singer got a little under the weather, but we'll hopefully make it up to you. Uh, somebody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Like heavy metal, right? Uh, it's kind of like hard rock. I don't want to say it's heavy metal. It's, yeah. it's kind of origins are like 70s hard rock. Like a lot of the best bands of 70s hard rock, like Zeppelin, Queen, Deep Purple, Aerosmith is a big uh, influence of ours. And we, uh, to a little extent, yeah, Molly Crew. Um, but a lot of the hard rock Queen. I'm a big Queen fan. I love Queen. Uh, but we recently just opened up for Aerosmith. Uh, wow. In Moscow. That's kind of one of the highlights wow. yeah, of the summer so far. That's in Moscow. Thing. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you about that. <laughs> um, that all kind of transpired like very quickly within like four days. We had to rush to get the visa and get the tickets and everything, go out there. Good for you. Uh, that sounds exciting. It was, it was very exciting. I mean, you know, uh, it's an Olympic Stadium in Moscow and there's uh, 20,000 people. Oh, so was that the time when the Olympics was going on? Uh, well, no, that's just the name of the stadium. Uh, uh, now it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was May 24th that we played the show there. And, um, Did the Chegi have help you get that? That was this year? Yeah, just uh, a little over a month ago. Uh, and it's normally a 40,000 seat uh, stadium, but they, they set it up sideways. So, uh, you know, like normally a stadium is set up long ways, like Madison Square Garden, you have your stage, and then it goes long ways. But uh, they set it up sideways. So it was about 20,000 people that we actually played for. Um, well, they do that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Um, they put the stage and backstage on half of it, and then, yeah. yeah. That's uh, amazing. So did you get to hang out with Steven Tyler? Uh, not, not How Steve about Hamilton or Perry? Well, um, our guitar player got to hang out with uh, Brian Whitford. They're, they're friends. They actually know each other. That's part of what made it happen, you know. Nice. Uh, that, and it's all about connections. A little bit, yeah. But, I mean, you know. Uh, but you guys are really good. Yeah, uh, that, that helped. But. Uh, it was also connections like yeah, Cheggy is from Moscow and right. do some promoters and things. And, um, they, the Aerosmith had uh, some bands that applied for the gig. And they didn't like any of the bands. They said, well, "What other bands you guys have?" And the promoter said, "Well, we know the Black Fires and check them out." And uh, they 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 approved and. Oh, that's so cool! Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, uh, from the magazine, Do you know? Because uh, she's the probably one not. I wasn't one in contact, probably. So oh, okay. I'm not the best one to answer. She's probably the probably either Anthony or Jamie. And then ever since I heard the name, it's been bouncing around. Yeah, well, the, the, I'll just give you a real brief history of the band. Uh, we they started about 
two years ago, and it was a different lineup. Uh, there was five guys, and uh, they, they went around for about a year and had a lot of uh, local success. Sold out a lot of the local clubs here. Um, uh, Mercury, Mercury Lounge, Arlene's Grocery, and uh, Webster Hall, and those things. And uh, the band kind of fell apart. A few guys left the band, and uh, Cheggy and the Anthony, they continued uh, acoustically, just playing little acoustic shows, and they reformed the band about uh, maybe like late December, like uh, September, so around uh, last fall, with uh, me, another guy uh, on the guitar. And so you're the lucky ones. Yeah, well, uh, it's, it's a really good band, and I was surprised that the original lineup kind of fell apart because they had a lot of success pretty early on. And I thought things were really going good for them, but evidently they weren't. So Did you ever like work in radio? No, no why? Well, because you have this voice that like sounds like a radio. I don't know. Barry White, Bob O'Reilly. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Yeah, baby. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he does that good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks. Do you uh, like Barry I sing White? a little bit uh, in the band, too. I sing backgrounds. But that's, that's cool. Uh, I do like Barry White, actually. I like a lot of... My personal influences are uh, Queen Zeppelin, Van Halen, and then they mix it up with the soul music of James Brown, uh, Motown, Philly Soul, I mean, that whole so 70s really cool. thing. I mean, I love the, I love the Bee Gees. I mean, I love, you know, I love so all So what don't things. you like? Uh, country. Uh, even some country is okay, you know. I, but I'm surprised, like, how much country is, a, is really going on now, like, as far as uh, popularity. Uh, I think they kind of, like, itched into the rock. Yeah, they kind of watered down, made it more pop, sort of. Um, oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, no, I like all kinds of music. I like jazz, reggae, you know I mean? uh, rock and roll. I think, yeah, and I also, I also play on a live karaoke band, so we, we play in, we play in all these different kinds of music. So I just, um, you know, it's good to be in all different kinds of music. I think because when you play all different kinds of style, it all mishmashes into something, you know, that has a little more depth, maybe. You know, because I heard like Steven Tyler and David Lee Roth talk about when those bands were just starting coming up, and they were just cover bands, you know, like Van Halen was a cover band, yeah. Aerosmith was a cover band, and um, they would play all these pop songs, and, and you know, when you play all kinds of material, it all mishmashes, mishmashes into something that's your own thing, you know, so yeah. it's good to be into... It's like your, your interpretation uh, comes through in everything that you do. Yeah. Like every song that I wrote in my band, everything came out of heavy metal. Yeah. And friends would come and they'd say, I had no idea that you were uh, heavy metal. I said, that's what I am. Yeah. And they said, yeah. 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 But that's because the guitar player and the drummer grew up together and they were headbangers. Yeah. So even if I wrote a ballad, it came out. Yeah. Um, that's cool now, but I just, I prefer all kinds of music, you know. Uh, like like even Led Zeppelin, you know, they do all kinds of, even each, each album had like totally different kinds of music. You have acoustic song, heavy metal song. No, all kinds of my stuff. grandmother used to be in vaudeville, and she used to always tell me all the time that the only way to get good is by doing other people's material. Yeah. That you will never be anything. What you know, you you could write and be you know a great songwriter, but really covering other people's work yeah. is the way to get seasoned. I agree, and I've heard uh, interviews with David Lee Roth, and said he said he went to the College of Music and Knowledge. When he and the band, they played four or five, 45 minute sets a night, learning to play Casey and the Sunshine Band, James Brown, all these other things. And they did it for years and years and years. And you know, that's how you do it. You know? Yeah. So it is National Anisette Day. Okay. And I'd love to have you have some little Anisette treats. Okay. When you share a skeleton from your closet. Skeleton. Yeah. Can you share something juicy? I'm uh -oh. waiting for a good skeleton for today. Well, I can tell you, I was arrested, but it was a misunderstanding, and, and I, I was I was quickly let go. What happened? Uh, I was uh, yeah, I was yeah. there was an empty house being built. And you peed? No, no, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything like that. You peed in the house. No, it was a brand new house being built in this neighborhood, and it was a very big house, a very nice house. So I just I just was like on the grass, just like looking at it, just checking it out. But all of a sudden, the cops came because. Um, I didn't know. Sorry. Somebody stole some things from the house, like stole some tools or something like that. So they let me go really fast. Where, where was that? Wow. Uh, it was Jersey, Jersey somewhere. Oh. So they didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know. They, you know, they just. Why you let me go? That was so nice of them. <laughs> but uh, they let quickly let me go. But. Pretty lame, but you can have some. Yeah, exactly. Today's like a lame skeleton day, but I don't care. It's okay. Mine was lame? 
No, yours wasn't so lame. No, no, yours was the best so far, Frank Boy. So you guys just played Gramercy, right? Yes, um, before I have this, yes, we, um, very quickly, we played the Gramercy Theater with Jason Bonham's band, uh, yeah. and uh, Glenn Hughes, from, uh, they form a new band, California yeah. Breed. I really nice. wanted to go to that, yeah. but I missed it. And when's your next show? Next? Our next show is uh, Pianos, uh, July 17th. Yes. Yes, that's a Did you say July 10th? Because Sorry, yes, thank you for correcting me. July 10th. Thanks. Uh, but yeah, uh, the California Breed, I was actually more nervous for the California Breed show, because, than the Aerosmith show. Because uh, everybody spoke English. No, it, it was it was um, it was just a dream place for me to play. I love the Gramercy Theater and uh, also playing with Jason Bonham. Yeah, um, that's I'm a amazing. big wow. Zeppelin wow. fan. John Bonham was like one of my main guys, and it was actually John Bonham's birthday that day, oh. so that was pretty cool. And we got amazing. to yeah, yeah, we got to hang with uh, Jason Bonham and Glenn Hughes, and they were real super cool guys. They took pictures. Wow. They took pictures yeah. with us, and uh, Glenn was really cool. He took, a, he took a band photo with us, then he took individual pictures of us, you know, with each of us. Uh, so they were just really awesome guys. Great. Would you like to push a button? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That goes to you, Cheggy. Yeah. yeah. You and um, website. Website is theblackfires.com. Check it out. They're really good. So next time. And let me plug the album. Oh, Can I zoom in on yeah. the camera? Yeah. I got a new t-shirt. Right. Look at that handsome fella right there. Is that that's you? worth that's shaggy. Oh, he that's is so cute. cute. <laughs> he really is cute. <laughs> that's worth the price of the CD alone. Feel better, Shaggy. Feel better, Shaggy. Thank Shaggy. you so much for coming cool. and representing the Black Fire. Yeah, exactly. okay. We will be back. There's more to come on this day. Yeah. Uh, Steel magazine. Steel note.